I want to share with you this little thing I found. It's uh, how to take this clip and add some mayhem to it and turn it into this kind of uh, craziness that you can play when the beat drops. I want to show you how I create it from scratch. Let's take the original clip here. This is a 8 second clip with um, alpha transparency. So let's start by adding randomness to it. So right now you see this happens every beat. We can leave it at 2 beats, every 2 beats. And the distance here is how much the play head is going to jump. That's also OK. Now let's add to it a flip. Let's pause it for a second. The flip, it just flips, right? So let's automate it with the BPM sync and have it every two bits. So that's nice. Let's put the playback on and sync. So that's what we have now. It's getting there. But uh, we're going to add the main ingredient here, which is a cloner. A linear cloner and I have a preset that's already kind of there. But uh, here we're going to have the tail length on zero and we're going to use the end scale to push the clones back on the Z depth, supposedly. So let's add some more clones here and we are getting there. Now we're going to have a delay. The delay we can push it all the way in and the last thing is going to be this randomness. And voila! Check it out. We got this uh, thing inspired by the 1000 hands, the Chinese dance, but uh, on steroids or in any other substance that you choose. And uh, now we're going to push it a little bit further with uh, levels. I like to use levels to get some light flashes, but maybe you can do it also with exposure. Let's uh, have here on the BPM sync and we're going to start at the nominal values and then we're going to push it a little bit to 0.7 and then we're going to add an envelope and the envelope we're going to add a 4 to the floor. And this is even more crazy, even more a uh, bit psyched and um, I want to add the little thing a more which is a drop shadow because it looks a little bit flat now and I want to push it to define the characters before they clone. So we're going to put it before everything else. And now we can see the shadow but it's way too strong and big and now we're going to change the color maybe to a grayish thing and that looks better. So if we take this and uh, we add any kind of background to it and it looks fine. Maybe we can add a background with another uh, four to the floor on the scale here just to emphasize the beat. We can add a background, any background and that's the whole recipe. Perhaps you can uh, apply this effect stack on your own characters, your own loops. I'm going to keep on uh, finding cool things to share and I'll be back. Until then, go out and amaze them.